Okay, here we are, Unit 5, Lesson 3, Level 2. Let's take a look at what it's telling us to do. In addition to numbers, lists can store strings. Yes, they sure can. Read the starter code for the list trees and read the program. Create your own list with your three favorite songs in it. Uh, use console.log to print the list to the console. Okay, this seems pretty straightforward. So console.log trees, uh, var trees, console.log. Okay, so then console.log, my favorite song. Create a list. All right, we'll just call this our fave songs equals, and I have a very odd array of items. Um, by the way, you can use single quotes or double quotes in JavaScript, but they must start and end with the same value. And so my favorite songs, uh, so I've got a list of three spaces, basically. Um, I'm going to create, let's see here, a uh, uh, roundabout is one of my favorite songs. Part of the Sunrise. Um, and then uh, maybe, what will I do here? Wonder Stories. These are all songs by Yes. Um, I have some other songs that I very much like from Asia, um, but these are the ones that kind of came off the top of my head for the most part. Okay, um, so then I'll just do console.log and um, what was it? Uh, the variable I can't see behind this stupid thing uh, is fave songs, F A V songs. All right. Semicolon after that. Oops, did that again. Wow. Okay. Hit that. Hit run. There's my debugs. Trees, my favorite songs. There we are. I hit finish, and we're done.